you psychiatrist Does he beat around the bush? What's he prescribing you? Legs are pro, Xanax, it barely lets you function But you can at least manage a dose to dull the panic but now you never smile. The kids can't get you to play, so they feel like they're on trial. What's up, everybody? I'm Skulls, and today, it's story time. I've been on the Nightwish journey for a while now. I'm feeling pretty good. We're getting down the list. This is cool. I love the band. They're all very talented and just a joy to watch. They're opening my mind to the symphonic metal scene. There just doesn't seem to be a lot of that in America, so I've been deprived. I don't know anything about this song. The only thing I saw on the list was in parentheses it said uplifting vocals so that means floor is going to be a highlight which to be honest i have no idea how that's different from any other performance seriously floor has knocked it out of the park with everything i've heard so far but before we hop back into the vacuum let me tell y'all what's what if you're new here make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell helps the channel grow helps the video reach more people and i appreciate it so much let's hop into it the story She got that windmill down pat. Okay, this one I like. This has good energy. I really like the whole like carnival vibe about it too, which adds to what they're trying to do. It sounds like they're trying to sonically capture that childlike wonder. Even with the lyrics, they're talking about Never Neverland, Peter Pan. This one I feel like is the most different they've sounded since I heard Ghost Love Score. And I'm only catching some of the lyrics. I'm trying to watch the performance too, but uh, whenever I can, I try to look down at the lyrics and grab what I can. But it's cool how they kind of came in with mostly just drums, and I think there was some bass in there, and then they added the guitar as the intensity of the verse went on, and then it explodes at the hook. They did a good job layering and building up to that. I love this girl. Woo! The harmonies. You hear that? Oh, I love that child choir. Chills, man.
<laughs> yes. Okay. This is fucking nuts, bro. This is nuts. What the hell was that change up? What the hell was that change up? The drummer was just going at it. He didn't change anything. The whole band, the choir all just cut out and then they just brought in something completely different. How did that work so well? I'm wondering if it has something to do with the narrative. Maybe because she's like coming in and it's much more dramatic. It has that kind of, she's singing very operatic. In the way before she was singing, it was capturing the childlike wonder. So maybe this is like a shift into adulthood in the realities of the world. I don't know guys, like I'm getting all these feelings and I don't understand the song yet. I don't know what to do with all this, man. I mean, she sounds excellent. The band is just killing it. What the hell is the song structure? structure and why the hell does it work? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I really don't know, but I'm here for it. That's the harmonies. Yeah, guys, I think that was a 10 out of 10 for me. I felt like I was gonna burst out of my skin most of that song. I think I might be a little biased though, just because that topic, that loss of innocence, it just really connects with me. I've always been into Alice in Wonderland. It's one of the very few books I actually read and got really into. But yeah, holy sh**, I really gotta learn these guys' names because I really have to give a shout out. I mean, Floor obviously killed it, but something that's usually overlooked in a lot of uh, bands, not just on studio recordings, but especially in live performances because they get buried, is the bass. And this bassist was killing it. He was doing such good run during the hook, especially. And it's only when the camera zoomed in on the neck and I saw what he was doing that it really stood out because I was like, holy crap, like he's going all over that thing. Like, let me pay a little bit more attention to what he's doing. And once I did, I was like, holy crap. The pianist wasn't going crazy or anything, but he didn't have to. The whole point of that was the sound and to give the song more character and more of that childlike sense of wonder. And it did that perfectly. And the drummer in that bridge section, I just loved it. It just fit that moment so well. It just created that bottom end of all that epicness that was going on with her operatic vocals and everything. But I loved the whole decision to just have him just keep beating the drums and for the song to fade out and then fade back in with something completely different. That just struck me as very unique. I don't think I've ever heard a band really do that. Just fade out the song, having the drums stay as that consistent foundation, and then fade in something completely different with everybody else. Just kudos for experimenting in that way. It's always nice 
to hear bands do different things, try different things, because there's just so much in the mainstream that will just put you to sleep. But yeah, I mean, everyone killed it. The composition as a whole was fantastic. Um, I didn't catch all the lyrics, but I think I have the vibe of what they're trying to do. I'll just have to go listen to it again and uh, dissect it a little bit more because uh, this is definitely a song I would put on my playlist and listen to a lot more. But yeah, that was story time. I love this track. This was a really good one. I appreciate you guys stopping in and hanging out with me. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Helps the channel grow, helps the video reach more people, and I appreciate it so much. And wherever you are, I hope you're having a good day, good night. And as always, I look forward to the next one. Peace.